Slack is a great application for instant messaging that works on all types of platforms. So your desktop, your tablets, your phones, it works great on all types of, of devices. So if you're looking today, you know, maybe one idea is you want to have a conference call uh, with a customer perhaps, and you want to have back channel communication, right? So the team wants to be asking questions or position themselves better during the meeting, whether maybe some of them may be remote, some of them may be in the meeting. This is a great way to do that. In addition, you can have local communication between your team only without having to use email and log on and sync and all of that stuff. Slack makes it very, very quick and very easy to use. Of course, there's security considerations that you have to put into using any form of a web tool. But I mean, it's it for the general public, uh, it's a pretty secure environment as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our instance of Slack. And we're just going to type in an email address here. Now that the email address is typed in, we're going to hit create a new team. So we're going to name the team my1234. Now we're going to need to pick a username um, for this organization. We'll just go with the one we have here and hit finish. So now you can see here it confirms all of our, our stuff. Here I have the Slack name as back team. I'm going to go ahead and name rename that team to my1234. We're going to go ahead and select create my new Slack team. So here we can send invites to other people. We're going to go ahead and just type in an email address. We'll just use another one of mine and say, OK, send invites. Here we can invite everybody that's on our team. Now you see here that Slack has now come up and is running. So here we can set up channels. A channel is a individual place. So let's say you're using this for customers. Let's just say you're going to put in here customer and their name. Um, X, um, it's all lowercase, by the way. X, Y, Z. And then we can say who can join this. We have no users right now, so that doesn't matter. We can make it public or private. Private means that only users by name can join it. And we're going to say create the channel. Now you notice here we have a general channel which is open to anybody who you invite to this Slack environment. And you have here customer, which is a private channel. And you notice here. All right, once you make them private and public, you can convert them, but not without paying a price, right? So you just want to create the ones you want, and you can archive them and things like that. And then here we can say invite people, and we can go there as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at email and see how that invitation came to us and what it looks like for team members when you send it out. I've gone ahead and received this email, and this is exactly what it will show on anybody that you send it to. So here you can just say, great, join the team. And to do that, we just click on here. Now it says, just give me your name. So I'm going to put here Joe Snuffy. And I'm just going to put in, whoops, and I'll just put in a password. Now, if you notice here, we've gone ahead and we're signed in as Joe Snuffy into this account. So we can go ahead and this is Joe Snuffy's account within here, right? They're within the Slack environment. But notice they do not see that channel that we created. Because we have to, now that they're part of our environment, this is what they would be seeing. Now notice here that we're signed in as Joe Snuffy. We're going to sign back in and sign in as the administrator so you can see the view from there. But this is what your users will see when they sign up for Slack. They just see this. It's pretty simple. 